Good evening. Okay. Uh, in this video, I just talk about the shopping cart problem we had uh, before. Okay. So when we have a website, like an online shopping website, like Amazon, okay, for different user, they should have their own shopping cart, right? Suppose I log in as a Tina, then I'm gonna have my own shopping cart. If another person uh, logs in uh, using the Josh account, then he should uh, it should show Josh's shopping cart. Our shopping cart between Tina and Josh should be different, right? So, but previously we had the problem, which is uh, all the users share the same shopping cart. Let me show you uh, the code, okay? Uh, I'm gonna using an old demo, okay? Uh, the, on day seven, this is a place we started do the shopping cart, okay? Okay, so this one should be finished version, okay? So here I'm gonna stop this one and I go to day seven, okay? It shouldn't be day 10 today. Today probably day 10, 11 or 12 or, or 13 because I have, we have several, I, ha I record some videos, uh, don't have the demos here, okay? Just using a shell. So here I use the NTM install. Uh, so it start. Okay, it's started. And now I have uh, this uh, website running. Okay, and now let me add a product first. Okay, this one is in memory one. Okay, I don't have time to do using a Mongo, Mongo one. I just do another version, which is a Mongoose. Okay. Mongoose in other two shopping cart that won't help a lot, okay? Because uh, it doesn't have a method called uh, add to shopping cart. We still need to do all the logics by ourselves. Okay, we have two. And now when I click add to cart, uh, this user, this browser, this user has uh, one item in the shopping cart now, right? And have a total price, everything. Now, if I all using another browser, browser okay, I... Hmm. Don't. Yeah. I don't like. Uh, I. Why do you like this? Okay. So here, when I using IE, and then here I go to localhost three thousand. Let me do like this part. Okay. Highlight left. Eh. Hi highlight left. No. Oh. Highlight left. Okay. Good. This one. Uh, right, uh, uh, this is right, uh, this is right, uh, now uh, this is left, okay. Uh, anyway, okay, anyway, here, it's using localhost. Okay, and uh, since we are using two, uh, uh, here, in IE, you cannot just type localhost, you have to give HTTP, then double slash localhost. IE won't add for you. So here we are in two different browser, right? Different browser will be considered as a different user. Okay. And which means uh, suppose I click this uh, cart here, we should see different shopping cart, right? Because we're using different browser, different browser means a different user. But when I click this shopping cart here, you will see exactly the same items as I see in the uh, Firefox, which is not acceptable because now if this user, which is Edward, okay, Edward, suppose this one is Tina, okay. This is Edward, this is Tina, okay. Suppose Edward, he goes to the home page. Uh, he said, uh, let me add this one to shopping cart. Okay, now, oh, I will add, oh, I like this uh, Angular. Let me add one more. Okay, add one more. So this is uh, should this should be what? This should be uh, Edward, the shopping cart. But if uh, I go back to the Firefox, I refresh, and you will see whatever Edward added to his shopping cart, it added to my shopping cart. Is this acceptable? No. So first, what we are doing is we will have we will create a user 
which uh, let's do a sign up and we will do a user we will mock a user which means a shopping cart will belongs to a particular user okay so by doing that we can solve the problem okay this shopping cart belongs to that user this shopping cart belongs to another user so you want to see this uh, strange behavior okay when other here here we'll also see when other here another user can see shopping cart is not shared by shared for all users shopping cart is uh, special for a particular user right one user has their own shopping cart so this is a problem okay for this video that's what i'm trying to explain okay and uh, next video i'm gonna show you to create a new user then we, we are using the shopping card associated to the new created user okay thank you for watching and uh, see you bye bye